Hey guys, Michael here with the Wednesday check-in. It's December 20th, 2023. Thanks for hanging with me. Uh, check out the podcast, podcast.hellocupcakeitsme.com and give the blog some love, hellocupcakeitsme.com. Check out all the socials. You know what to do. Links down below. Um, got only a few minutes to make this video, so it's going to be uh, kind of quick and to the point because uh, I have a doctor's appointment, and um, you can't see it through the fog and my back window, but I'm at the doctor's office right now, so I figured I could at least uh, throw the video together and then upload it while I'm sitting there waiting for the doctor to do doctorly things. Um, but... Anyways, oh man, feeling really stressed out and just excited all at the same time. Like, nothing in particular is stressing me out. Like, the holidays, you know, even though that's five days away, I'm like, what the fuck ever at this point, you know, honestly. Um, I'm just going to do the best I can with what I have available to me and yeah. I, it just might be that I make up for what I wasn't able to do at Christmas for the people's birthdays, or I might just say, you know what, you got what you fucking got, right? But, um, been researching a couple of classes that I want to take, and, um, so I'm getting prepared for that, and, um, I don't know if I posted a video or... Um, not, but I know that I posted on Instagram about the 293 page book that I had to print out for, uh, one of the state classes. And then I find out that I might not even need to take the state class because I already have the state certification for peer counseling that I might be able to just go ahead and say, hey, you know what? I want to add peer count or I want to add youth and family to my peer counseling and um, possibly just have it automatically added in or challenge the course and call it good. Um, there is some new terminology and stuff that I don't, that I don't know that I'll need to read through the book to kind of like brush up on. But for the most part, um, I'm going to see what the healthcare authority has to say about it. And, um, if it's, like I said, something that I could just challenge the course on and instead of taking the week long 40 plus hour, um, class and then just do the, uh, state training where I have to go before the board and, um, talk about what I know and how I know and blah, blah, and all that other stuff, then I might just try to do that. And then um, there's another class that I'm going to be taking that is a 15 or 30 hour course, and it's a diploma in mental health and um, something else. Then there's another class that I want to take that is how to identify applications and websites that are actually going to be useful for mental health in a clinical setting. So like if I sat down and I said, Hey, uh, YouTube viewer, I checked out this program and, um, you know, I think this is going to be really good for you personally. And this is why I think that, and here's two other programs that, um, are similar and, but you know, do whatever, or be able to look at a website and like, no, this is not a good website for you. Uh, let's check out this and instead. And then, um, there's, um, a child, a child psychology course that I want to take. And then there's, uh, two other courses, all of this on top of trying to finish my book. And I've narrowed it down. If I do five to 10 entries a day or, you know, five to 10 pages a day that I should be able to have it completed within two weeks. So, um, 
it's been difficult to get just the five pages done a day, but it's one of those things that I really got to like buckle down and try to get finished because not only do I release the website for the book on January 1st, but I need to have it all like taken care of so then that way I can send copies out to people to get it reviewed and I gotta find I gotta figure out where one where I'm getting the money for that and two um where the cheapest place to get rough draft copies printed up is going to be so um I need to I need to do a little bit of research and it might just be that I have to print all 500 well it's gonna be well over 500 by the time I'm all sitting done or whatever but it just might be that I have to print it all at home and hope for the fucking best. And that's go if I have to do it at home, it's going to cost me roughly fifty dollars to do it. Um, because I can get my ink off of eBay for about twenty well anywhere between twelve and twenty five dollars. $12 gets me one full set of ink cartridges, um, a black, yellow, red, and blue. The um, $15 to $25 gets me uh, two to four black and two, like it's four black and uh, two of each color. So whatever. Anyways, I got to figure all that out. Um, and there, there might be some way that I could say, Hey, I need to get five copies of this book. If I provide you with the paper, will you print it for me? Like maybe try to work something out with the library or something. And then, um, because I don't want to take the unedited and send it to the publisher and then have a whole bunch of books published with spelling errors and all kinds of other crap in there. And then after I get the edited versions back, I need to then take some time and um, fix everything. And I need to, yeah, so the more that I'm thinking about it, the more I'm getting like really anxious about it. So yeah, um, anyways. There's all that, and then, um, last night went to the bar and did the trivia thing. Um, if we won, I will be a hundred percent surprised because I think we sucked all of the ass that was available, but, um, still had a, a somewhat fun, decent time. Um, I've just been really wanting to stay home on Tuesdays and not go and do the whole bar thing. And a lot of that also is just because I've been so financially strapped. Not that I'm not typically financially strapped, but I feel a little bit more of a tightening of the old purse strings right now because of the holidays and everything else that's going on. And yeah, so um, there's all that. But anyways, guys, um, like I said, I'm going to have to make this very short... And so, um, yeah, you know what to do. Follow me on the social media. Shoot me an email. Hello, cupcake. It's me at gmail.com. Uh, check out the links down below and I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys.